All right, in this video, we are going to look at the common end problem. Uh, this is out of the list one problem set on the coding, uh, the Python version of coding bat. All right, so the problem says given two arrays of ints or lists A and B, return true if they have the same first element or they have the same last element. Both arrays will be length one or more. So here I have the list one, two, three, and this one has uh, seven, three. And so they have the same last element, okay? Uh, this one, they don't have the same first element, one and seven. Um, they don't have the same last element, so it returns false. On this one, the third case that they show us, it has the same um, first element. So, and actually the same last element, so uh, it re should return true, okay? Okay, so you could have do this with an if statement, but um, you can also just return and then have a Boolean expression there. Um, so to get, let's just do the first element of the list. So to get the first element of the list, I'd slice that. The first element of the list is gonna be A bracket zero. So if that's equal to B bracket zero. So A bracket zero would be the first element of list A using the slicing notation. That's the same slicing notation that's, that was used for strings previously. So if uh, the first element of list A is equal to the first element of list B. So uh, if that's true, it, you know, it's gonna get a B true, and so therefore it's gonna return true. So you can see that got us a lot of those test cases in there. Uh, but this one, it didn't get us, right? Because this one, the first elements aren't the same, right? It's the, the last elements are the same. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do is just alter our condition to also check the last elements. Uh, so what we would do is join this condition, this Boolean expression that we had, together with another one using the OR operator, right? Because you can kind of see it here, it says if they have the same first element or they have the same last element here, right? And so what we need to do is to write an expression for the last element. And with Python, that's really, really easy because you can have a negative index. If you have negative one as the index, it will check from the right-hand side of the list. So this would be the last element. And so that should get us what we want.